This couple met in first grade. They'd been high school sweethearts and were together to the very end. The fire wiped out everything from furniture to love letters, but one thing did live on. The bills that kept coming long after they died. Uh, I got a phone call from my brother, Chuck. Susie Rippy Harris will never forget that night. He just told me there was a big fire in Napa and the parents' house burned down and, and they died in the fire. Her mom and dad, Sarah and Charles Rippey, 98 and 100 years old, died together in the Atlas Peak fire. I was on the phone and I, I, I couldn't believe my ears. I said, you know, Chuck, are you kidding me? Susie and her brother went to the burned out home in the Silverado neighborhood. It was just all gray ashes. It is hard. The way they went was very difficult. As they continued to grieve the loss of their parents, the family was troubled by one nagging loose end. The uh, crazy scenario with trying to close out the AT&T account. Weeks after they died, Susie's parents got a bill for AT&T internet and TV. Susie told AT&T her mom and dad had died in that infamous fire. I needed the death certificates and to appear in person at an AT&T store with the bill. It took hours, but a store clerk said the account and charges were now canceled. And I'm, I believed her. And then uh, the next month I got another bill. This time AT&T charged her parents $194 for service in November, long after the couple had died. The bill also demanded the October payment, plus a late fee. Susie spent another two hours at the AT&T store. And at the end she said, yes, it's all closed out, no problem, no problem, no problem. So then in December we got another bill. Again, AT&T canceled the charges, but when January came around, so did yet another bill. I really, I couldn't even think about it. I, I, I couldn't believe I had this, another bill in my hands. People had already told me this, you should call Michael Finney. She contacted Seven on your side, and we contacted AT&T. 35 minutes later, I got a phone call on my cell phone. The company zeroed out the account immediately, telling us, unfortunately, we made mistakes handling the account, and we couldn't be more sorry. While we made the correction some time ago and have apologized to the family, we're working to make sure situations like this don't happen again. Now Susie hopes her parents can rest in peace. I do sincerely hope they are enjoying heaven. I hope they're dancing. Charles and Sarah would have celebrated 76 years of marriage on March 20th, and their children say they'd be happy to know someone took care of that last loose end. And that AT&T promises disaster victims shouldn't have this trouble ever again. I'm Michael Finney, seven on your side.